Hello everyone, if you want to record your gaming or streaming on the go, the Avermedia Extra Go GC515 is the perfect device for this. This small device is at the same time a docking station, a capture card, and also a standalone recorder. And when you connect it to a PC, it can also be a streaming device. It is mainly designed to work with handheld gaming devices like this Nintendo Switch, the Steam Deck or the ROG Ally, but also it is compatible with all modern USB-C devices that have the display port capability through their USB-C port like this Windows PC or this MacBook Air M1. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect it. I'm gonna also show you its ports and I'm gonna talk about its specifications like the maximum capturing resolution and so on. And also we'll be testing it with the Nintendo Switch I'll be recording some gameplay that my son will do and also I'm gonna show you a glimpse of its software and how to use it. So let me start first by showing you what comes in its box. Let's open the box. And this is everything you get in the box. You have some documentation, the docking station plus capture card and you have an HDMI cable, USB-A to USB-C cable and USB-C to USB-C cable that is angled. Let me show you the ports now of this captured device. So you have here the USB-C input where you connect the gaming console or your PC. And this is here the USB-C power. And you need to connect this even if you connect the capture card to your PC. And this is the HDMI out port. This is USB 3.2 Gen 1. So these two are to connect, for instance, keyboard, mouse, or a webcam in case you connect a device that is compatible here, like a Windows PC or a Mac. And this is USB-C output that you connect to your PC to use the streaming software from Avermedia or also to use OBS to record the output. And this switch here will allow you to access the TF card from your PC if you put it to the TF card here so that you can copy the videos from the TF card. So let me now turn the device to its side. On its side, this is the headphones output jack, which is 3.5 millimeter. And this is the TF card input that will hold your recordings. The maximum capacity is one terabytes. It should be formatted in EXFAT format and it should be fast. And on the front of the device, you have this button here that controls the recording. So now I'm gonna connect it. The first thing I'm gonna connect is the USB-C here that is going to my PC. And then I'm gonna connect the HDMI that is the pass-through HDMI. And then this is the power here. And I'm using the Nintendo Switch power adapter. And now I'm gonna insert the USB-C cable that will dock the Nintendo Switch. So it should go here. Let me turn it to show you how I'm gonna dock the Nintendo Switch. And to be able to put the Nintendo Switch in the dock here, you need to connect this end of the cable. Notice that I used the USB-C end that is aligned like this with the switch so that it can be docked in this docking station. So just rest it without pushing it in and it will go in its place and here it is docked. So let me show you the LED light now here. When a device is connected and it is ready, it will light up blue. If you want to start recording to it, and here I already inserted a TF card in it, just press this button here once, it will flash red, and it means that it is recording now. If you want to stop the recording, press it once again, and it will stop the recording. Now we'll be testing the recording capabilities of the Avermedia Extra Go. So it is connected to this 4K monitor, and my son is playing a game on the Nintendo Switch. So I'm going to record a portion of the game, and we're going to see it later. So let me start the recording and now I'm gonna stop the recording and we're gonna go to the PC to get the recorded file and we're gonna see it together. To copy the file on my PC, I'm gonna toggle the switch to the TF card. So under this PC, go to the drive that was assigned to the TF card that is in the GC515 and under video, you have all the files here. You can sort them by date and this is the file. So I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna play it and we're gonna see how it will play and notice how the recording is very good and the sound is here and everything is working as intended let me show you how to install the streaming software now in case you want to use it to stream from your pc so go to avermedia.com 
and then enablemedia.com, click on support, and you should install first Assist Central. So click on download, it will be downloaded, install it, and after you install the Aver Media Assist Central, double click on it to open it. When you open it, it will detect the GC515 directly. So you have two things under it, software and firmware. In case the firmware needs upgrading, upgrade the firmware first, and then for the software, click on execute. When you click on execute, it will install the Aver Media streaming software. And here it is, let me launch it. So this is the switch screen and you have many settings and the software here. For instance, you can start recording from here. If you want to, you can stop the recording. You can also stream if you want to. So if you click on start streaming, of course you need to put your channel and so on and so forth. So this is the streaming center. Now, if you wanna use it in OBS, this is what you need to do. So this is OBS. I have already a scene that is called Aver Media. I'm gonna add the GC515 extra go to it. So click on the plus sign here and then choose video capture device and then create a new one. I'm gonna call it GC515 and then click on OK. And here under device, you need to select also GC515 extra go that will appear here and then click on OK. So here it is. And notice that here it is capturing the video and the audio and one thing i wanted to say about the capturing in obs is that there is like a two seconds delay almost as opposed to the streaming software of aver media that has no delay almost one last thing about obs is that if you want to hear the audio that is coming from the gc 515 on top of capturing it you need to click on the three dots here and then choose advanced audio properties and next to the gc 515 here Choose monitor and output. And here's the sound coming now also through the speakers of your PC. Let me talk now about the maximum resolutions of this GC515. In pass through, you can pass through up to 4K 60 Hz. And also, of course, you can pass through full HD up to 120 Hz. Now for the recording, it can record up to 4K 30 Hz 2K 60 Hz or Full HD 120 Hz. If you're passing through on it 4K 60 Hz, the recording capability will be limited to Full HD 60 Hz only. Now my thoughts about it and what I like and what I don't like about it. I like the fact that it is affordable for what it offers. It is highly portable and it is very easy to use, especially in standalone mode. Also what I like about it is that it is compatible with many devices and it works flawlessly. Now what I don't like about it are only two things. The first thing is that it doesn't come with a power adapter. And the second thing is that if you're passing through in 4K 60, you cannot record in 4K, you can record only in Full HD 60 Hz. Now, if you want to check out this extra go from Aver Media, I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will support my channel. If you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you on the next video.